In the meantime, we want to check back in with Billy B. He's been live at the Hawaii Food Bank in Mapunapuna. Billy. Thank you very much, Grace. As a matter of fact, this is a secure door. And so let's go ahead and go through the secure door. What happens is this is separate from the rest of the warehouse. What they've got here is all the incoming food. And so we'll bring you a little bit further in. Right now, this is the area where it's all inspected. Everything that is brought into the Hawaii Food Bank is, is inspected before it goes onto the shelves to go out to be distributed to you. But in here, where all the in food, uh, incoming food comes, let's show you. The shelves are bare. They could use your donations. In the meantime, let's go ahead. Steve Uihara has another nonprofit that needs your help. Like everyone else, the YMCA of Honolulu has taken a huge hit in the pandemic. Steve, we had to furlough about 1,200 employees, which was one of the most difficult decisions I've had to make in my 40-year career. We're projected to lose about $3 million this year. So YMCA officials looked around and they saw a need. They created a child care program for essential workers. Really the key is that it gives them peace of mind. They know that when they drop their kids off at the Y, they're going to be safe, they're going to be healthy, and they're going to have some fun. We went in and saw firsthand everything is clean. Children are kept distanced from each other, and they say everything is in line with CDC guidelines. On top of that, there's a one to nine ratio of staff to children. They do everything here. They do temperature checks. My son, he does um, online classes. So they allow him to get on the internet to fulfill, you know, his class schedule. Does he like it? He loves it. He loves coming here. He enjoys um, Monday through Fridays. Because of the added requirements, this is more expensive than normal childcare. The Hawaii Community Foundation has also stepped up to help cover the cost for many parents. The sad part is that we're going to run out of money. And unless we receive additional grants and donations from the public, we're not going to be able to continue this program. Roderick says more than 80% of the families in this program require financial assistance, so they definitely need our help. You can make a donation right now at hawaiicommunityfoundation.org slash donate. Or you can check out their PayPal link. And remember, you can donate to the Hawaii Food Bank online as well. We'll be right back. You're watching a special edition of Hawaii News Now Sunrise.